Oh, hi there, and welcome back to Minecraft. In this video, we're going to go over what I believe are the top three Minecraft skin editors. For each of these Minecraft skin editors, I'm going to go over what I like most about them, as well as the parts of each editor that I'm not so keen on. I've also included the links to each editor in the video description, and I've also included full tutorials for getting started with each one. So if you want to know more about either one, it's just a click away. If you find this video useful or even entertaining, click that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin. So the first editor I want to go over today is Miners Need Cool Shoes. Link is in the description. Now this is a really good editor. It has loads of cool features. Uh, first off, it allows you to add as many layers as you want here. Uh, just click that and yeah, as many as you like. I have tried it, I've tested 40 layers and they all worked independently. Uh, only thing is, it gets a little bit difficult to navigate from them once you reach 13 or more, so you, you do you do have to sort of limit that and keep that in mind as you go along. You can edit body and overlay layers independently, and choose to turn off body parts or layers on and off as you see fit, to enable you to focus on the body part you wish to edit. Obviously, the more layers you have here, the more complicated this gets. You can also import entire skins or skin parts from your computer or the website's stock files to enable you to fully customize your skin with ease. So what you need to do is import from your computer or select something from the list, type in a skin or a part such as a hat for example and carry on from there. All in all, I believe that this editor gives the user the power to make and edit complex skins in relative ease once you know what you're doing of course. What makes this editor so good though is also what brings it down. Now. I don't think this is the best editor for the first time user as the complexity of options available can feel a bit overwhelming to begin with. However, with a bit of practice, it is an amazing tool to use. Now, when compared alongside Miner's Need Cool Shoes, the skin decks appears at face value a lot less complex. It shares many of the same basic features that all Minecraft skin editors have, such as the pencil tool to add colour to your skin, eraser, to remove, auto tone for blending similar shades together with ease, like I've done here with my jacket and beard. It also allows you to toggle on and off the body and outer layers separately, as well as individual body parts, so that you can focus on the parts you want to edit without worrying about interfering with the components you've already completed. What this editor does lack, however, is the option to add multiple layers together in one file and add stock items like shoes, hats, or bags. This no thrills approach to skin editing is somewhat of a relief for the first time user however, as a lack of all these extra features makes getting to know the editor very easy. If you have never made a custom skin before, I recommend trying this website out first, as the end result can be the same. Remember, the in-game Minecraft skin only has two layers, the main body and the outer layer. When combined together, they create a full skin. All the additional layers on Miners Need Cool Shoes are used to work on separate items of clothing to give you options to change one easier later down the line. And finally, we move on to Nova Skin. I like to think of Nova Skin as a hybrid between Miners Need Cool Shoes and the Skin Dex. As with the Skin Dex, it's very simple to use with basic tools such as multiple different pencil tools. There's actually six different ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, which can all be used independently or as a combination to create a gradient tone like so. You can toggle body parts on and off too, and also select between main body and overlays as required by just clicking on these. There's even a drop down list to allow you to easily turn these on and off. So if you wanted just the overlay of the hat, just select it and there you go. But like I said, this is a hybrid editor and it also includes features like adding, removing and merging multiple layers to allow you to work on different items of clothing separately, as well as the option to select pre-made wearables from the website's stock list. So here I've selected glasses and it gives me a bunch of different options and I can just add them on as a separate layer to the body. All in all, I would say that this is my favourite skin editor out of the lot. The usability is straightforward and easy to pick up, however, it still packs in all the additional features to help make a skin like a pro. I am aware that other skin editors exist, however, these have been my personal favourites. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or if you prefer another skin editor and why. And don't forget, if you want to know more about any of these editors, I have included links to full how to use tutorials to help you on your way. 
But unfortunately, that's all we got time for today. So if you enjoyed this video, if you think you learned something, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. But as always, I've been Skitty Gamer, you've been awesome, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.